Hi everyone and welcome back to my studio. Today I'm going to paint an autumn woodland landscape with you. It's quick and easy to do if you use my techniques, so let's get started. Forgive me if I'm just taping down my piece of paper here. I'm using Claire Fontaine um, Etival watercolour paper, uh, which I'm using unstretched and I'm just going to tape it down to my board here all the way around using quite strong um, masking tape because I am seized by the desire to paint a landscape in the Ron Ranson style that uh, he taught me. I uh, have to show you uh, the book. I have signed by the man himself, Ron Ranson, in 2004 when I was um, painting with him and uh, he influenced me a lot in my landscape style. So today I'm going to try to do a sort of autumnal scene in, uh, in his method using his um, hake brush, Hake. The Ron Ranson Hake by Pro Art is the one I'm using. I've had this a long time, since a long time before 2004. Um, needs replacing. I really should get around to doing that sometime. Now, I'm not going to do a sketch for this. I'm just going to go ahead and start painting. And uh, what I've got here is these five colours which I'm going to use. I'm going to try and make this a little bit autumnal. And because of that, I think I might add quinacridone gold to that. And I need to increase the amount of burnt sienna that I have available to me, just a second. Um, so the colours I'm going to be using are um, quinacridone gold, this is sepia, um, I'm going to use burnt sienna, it's a little bit more there, um, this is Burnt Umber, I believe. It should be, anyway. Um, there we go. And uh, Olive Green. Could do a little bit more of that in there too. Just to make it a little bit more flowy. And uh, a little tiny bit of Cobalt Blue down there at the bottom. So this may or may not work, we'll see. So the way this, oh, and um, I'll also be needing my cut up Ikea card, which I used to do some scratching out. And the, the next thing that you need is courage because these paintings don't always work. So let's start. Um, I'm just picking up some, first of all, some cobalt blue and I'm going to brush that in, in the center there. And just to cheat, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, Windsor Violet to that. And uh, that's just going in the middle there, and that's going to be the light area in the middle of the painting. If you've looked at the final painting, you'll see uh, what that's all about. And then I'm going to drop in burnt sienna mixed with quinacridone gold on this side here and also over here. And then some burnt umber, some darker brown. And to make a real, really dark, whoops, color, we're going to use 
all three mixed together. And we want it streaky like that because we're going to scratch in the trees. And then down in the foreground here, we want lots of texture. So I'm just dabbing the brush and doing little kind of scooty things. Just to give lots of mixed color texture. We have to wait a minute or two before we can scratch that out. And we just come forward a little bit further. Use the brush like that to give a little bit of grassy effect if you want. Okay, and so now I'm going to just pick up a little bit more blue mixed with a tiny bit of something, anything really, just to make it a little bit greyish. And then let's see whether we can scrape yet. Yep. This bit's quite fun. And uh, then you might want to <clears throat> also think about putting in some branches with paint as well. Like that, we can do quite a few like that. Just to give a bit of contrast. <clears throat> you can spend some time doing that. You might do a few more of that type over here. And then we might want to put some leaves in. So I'm not quite sure what color I've got on there, probably quite a lot of various different colors. So I'll just clean that off and pick up some 
nacridone gold. And then using the side of the brush, as randomly as you can. And uh, so quinacridone plus maybe a bit of burnt sienna over here. to be a little bit darker over here. colour in there too where we've left the white. And then maybe a bit greenish in the foreground here perhaps. some sorry for the lack of chat um, although this is fairly a loose painting it does require a little bit of concentration so I've actually shut the door and told the cat to be quiet and sent the dogs away. So at this point I'm probably going to um, stop in a second I might just put a little bit more gold up here, but I don't want to go too crazy. Because then I do need to let it dry and see what we have. I probably, uh, with the sepia, probably want to put in, strengthen some of these branches in the background here. darker. Okay, so we'll let that dry now. Okay, so that's dry and uh, I think we we'll just do, do a few more calligraphic marks and uh, then I'm going to call that done and uh, we'll take off the tape and see how it looks. And that painting only took a few minutes. Didn't take very long. 
And uh, it's a nice, once you get over the initial shock of putting paint on the paper, it's a nice way to paint because it's very, uh, quite relaxing. She lied. No, seriously. Um, yeah, so there we are. There's the final painting. Hope you enjoyed watching me do that. Um, give it a try and uh, we will be doing more of these because I think there's more interest now in landscapes um, on the channel. So I'll be able to do a few more and um, I hope you're going to enjoy them. So if you did, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, don't forget to go over to our website at dianeanton.com where there's lots of goodies over there for you to explore. So I look forward to seeing you there. And meanwhile, any comments you have or anything like that, do drop them in the area below the video. And uh, I do try to answer all your questions and to respond to most of your comments. It's only polite, isn't it? Um, since you take the time to talk to me, I really should. And I do enjoy talking back to you. So I'm trying to fit that in. So there we are. One painting landscape inspired by Ron Ranson. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll say bye bye for now. So bye bye everybody. See you soon. Bye now.